historic first half performance from Cole Palmer saved the day in game week 6, with a score of 68 points earning a rise up to 19,000. One of only two sides to keep a clean sheet, along with Spurs, Fulham restricted Nottingham Forest to zero big chances and just a single effort on target. Anthony Robinson attempted two shots, trailing only Jimenez among teammates. Morgan Rogers found his first goal of the campaign, and Brian Mbomo continued his impressive start, but it was Cole Palmer who stole the show with a record-breaking four first-half goals, as Chelsea swept Brighton away. Constantly exploiting the Seagulls' high line, Palmer also struck the post and saw a goal disallowed. He accrued a game-week high four big chances, while only Bakayo Saka created more big chances than his three. Erling Haaland failed to score for the first time this season, despite racking up five shots. But Kai Havertz found the net in the ninth minute of added time against Leicester, having squandered two big chances prior. The German recorded a leading 2.2 expected goals during the round. So we move on to the transfer plans for game week 7, where I'm a little stuck for ideas. Fantasy Football Hub's AI recommends that I bank my free transfer after last week's triple change. Alternatively, it suggests selling to our Pedro, who remains an injury doubt. Chris Wood was its preferred replacement, but I'm more interested in its second choice Dominic Calvert-Lewin, with Everton's favourable fixtures up to game week 14. He's scored twice in the last four game weeks, where his tally of six big chances can only be beaten by Solanke with seven and Watkins with nine. You can get personalised AI transfers for your FPL team via the link in the description. I would like to fit in Dominic Solanke, but that would mean making a downgrade elsewhere for a four-point hit. Losing Alexander Ronald is perhaps the best route, with Pedro Porro and Rico Lewis both tempting buys. My current plan though is to take the AI's advice and bank my free transfer. It'll mean fielding Emil Smith Rowe against Man City this game week, which is less than ideal, but it allows me to keep my options open and reconsider my routes to Solanke with two free transfers for game week 8. Liverpool's fixtures turn after Crystal Palace, so selling Trent might be more palatable then. Or I might even consider selling Cole Palmer before Chelsea's run of four tricky fixtures. Phil Foden, for example, might become an option if we see him start against Fulham. So I plan to bank the free transfer for game week 7, and here's how the team is set to line up. Brentford restricted West Ham to a single big chance last game week, but still found a way to concede. Their next opponent's Wolves have generated 5.2 expected goals this season, with only Leicester and Ipswich faring worse. Part of the incentive to bank my free transfer is being able to keep Alexander Arnold for the trip to Crystal Palace. The Eagles have scored just five goals this season, with only Southampton managing fewer. Esri Conter faces a Man United side in crisis after a heavy defeat to Spurs. They failed to score in three of the last four game weeks and ranked joint bottom with Southampton and West Ham for goals in that time. With Anthony Robinson facing Man City, Leicester's Val Fast gets a rare start at home to Bournemouth. The Foxes came close to taking a point from Arsenal last weekend, denied by two stoppage time goals. They've picked up points in two of their three home matches this season, conceding just four goals. With six goals and four assists in the last five game weeks, Cole Palmer has earned a leading 61 FPL points. He's created a league best eight big chances in that time, while his 3.3 expected goals total ranks first among midfielders. But Nottingham Forest have given up league low tallies of 3 big chances and 2.1 expected goals on the road this season. Finding the net in each of his 3 home outings so far, Brian Mbomo has averaged 10.7 points per game at the GTEC. Among midfielders, only Saka, Madison and Palmer can improve on his 2.3 expected goal involvements in home matches. Directly contributing to 3 goals in the last 5 game weeks, Emil Smith-Rowe has averaged 6 points per game. His tally of 11 shots inside the box only trails Salah, Semenyo and Brennan Johnson among midfielders. Man City are without a clean sheet in their last seven Premier League matches at the Etihad. Morgan Rogers has tallied three big chances in the last three game weeks, with only Cole Palmer accruing more among midfielders. Man United have given up 23 big chances in their last five matches, a joint leading tally only matched by Leicester. Averaging 8.7 points at the Emirates this season, Kai Havertz has found the net in each of his three home outings. He's amassed six big chances, trailing only Watkins with eight. Southampton have shipped 12 goals this season, with only Everton and Wolves conceding more. 
I'm expecting Erling Holland to provide the safe captaincy choice ahead of Fulham's visit to the Etihad. The Norwegian has tallied a leading 39 points in home matches, with 6 goals across 3 outings. He's produced league best totals of 19 shots and 3.7 expected goals. However, Fulham ranked 5th best for expected goals conceded this season, and no side have given up fewer big chances than their 8. So I'm strongly considering gambling on Bakayo Saka with the armband. The Arsenal talisman has fashioned leading tallies of 6 big chances and 14 key passes in home matches, while only Haaland can improve on his 16 shots. Southampton have conceded a league-high 10 goals in the last 4 game weeks, compared to Fulham's 3. This team has a 90% rating via Fantasy Football Hub. You can get your team rated by AI for free via the link in the description. All the data included in this video is available on the Hub Opta Stats tool.